guys, Slamo Lakeup. This is Hijab Adore here. I'm looking like this because I'm about to do my eye makeup in front of you guys. But before I get started, I just want to say welcome back to my channel. And if you're new on my channel, I would really like if you can subscribe to my channel. Also, this is my February's Boxy Charm, and I decided to give this away. Stay tuned till the end of this video to find out how you can enter my giveaway. By the way, it has everything in here. I just opened it to see that everything is in there. Okay, so basically, I got something from Ulta, which is this Makeup Revolution Reloaded Iconic Division Palette. Basically, I saw this online on their page on Instagram and I was like, oh my god, like this reminds me of the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette and for for some reason my sister actually bought this palette so I borrowed it from her for this video. I actually was gonna purchase this palette but when I saw the reviews and like all that craziness about subculture and then I was like, alright, I'm not gonna buy that. But the colors just called my name since day one. I actually ended up getting one from shophush.com which was a dupe for this subculture palette and that cost like ten dollars. I actually got it in my PR box but I really liked how the palette swashed and everything but I just didn't feel that it applied as well on my eyes so I just gave it away to my other sister so yeah I don't have that palette right now I've never used this personally so today I actually am gonna be using both of these palettes for the first time let me just show you both the palettes side by side top one is of course Anastasia Beverly Hills and the bottom one is Makeup Revolution I feel like this palette was definitely the inspiration behind this iconic division palette that's just what I think and of course there's no black shade in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette just want to show you like I literally just touched that excess shade on top it's crazy pigmented and then just touched the rowdy shade crazy pigmented so I don't think you needed a black for this palette I feel like you could just smoke out the shade this is the black shade from makeup revolution all right so out of nowhere my camera just started shaking I'm sorry if you guys saw that but I just turned it off and turned it back on I don't know what's wrong with this t6i if your t6i does that let me know because my camera be doing that okay so I just um, want to say that the green from this makeup revolution palette is very very soft it's on my pinky right here and even the black one is feeling very pig very much pigmented but not as crazy pigmented as the subculture palette so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, subculture palette on this eye and I'm gonna use Makeup Revolution Iconic Division Palette on this eye. So also before I get started, I want to tell you that this palette does not come in any kind of a box or anything. This literally just comes like this and it only costs $7. Dollars. Their concealers are amazing. Like if you haven't watched my video where I use their concealers to do my full face, I'll link that video down below in the description box. So yeah, I have high hopes for this palette. Whereas the Subculture palette, of course, you would know is like $40, $50. I honestly don't even remember how much this is. Yeah, it comes in a box and everything. And of course, it's Anastasia Beverly Hills. What else do you expect? right let's do this let's get started alrighty so I'm really scared to use the subculture palette because I've never used it on my eyes and it's just scary because I watched a lot of reviews and videos on it so yeah let's just hope for the best I am gonna take the shade called fudge right here holy shit <laughs> I do see the fallout the moment I touched it, it just boom went crazy on that shade my sister has actually not used it that much so it looks pretty new but not brand new but let's just see okay definitely crazy pigmented impossible to blend this is the best I can do because it's just 
not working out and I feel like this is just one shade that I used I was actually trying to use it as a transition shade but it just did everything it just smoked it out it created that crease it just did everything so I don't know if I would want to go in with another shade but for the makeup revolution palette we'll see if we can do that okay so i'm gonna take the shade right here this one which looks like the fudge and then i'm gonna use my morphe e27 for this one for the um subculture side i used my carity brush so yeah i'm not cheating or anything less Okay, as you can see, definitely more blendable and definitely not as crazy pigmented. I mean, it's a decent amount of pigment, but not like this side, as you can see. Okay, I want this to match this eye, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take that black shade out of this palette and just want to um, make it a little bit more darker because this is way too dark. So let's do that. Okay, so that black shade is very pigmented but not as blendable. I can definitely see that okay so that black shade was very patchy I'm just gonna go back in this one just want to mix these two together to get something like this and try to make it look a bit more brown and I'm actually using a different brush now because that Morphe brush is too big now I want to use the shade New Wave from um, Subculture Palette, which is this one right here, a little orangey shade. And from the Makeup Revolution, it's this one. Okay, the fallout is crazy. I shouldn't have worn a white shirt to use this palette. I really like how that yellow shade is so freaking pigmented that it can go on top of a very dark shade and still look yellow now i'm gonna use this shade from here okay so i do see a lot of fallout on the makeup revolution side there's no fallout on the subculture palette which is pretty ironic i honestly don't even know where this look is going anymore i'm gonna use the concealer c8 from makeup revolution okay so the concealer is on now we're gonna do the yellow shade now i'm gonna use the shade edge from subculture Okay, so that went on pretty pigmented but pretty patchy. Now I just wipe my brush and I'm going to use the other side of my flat brush to do the yellow on this side. I honestly think that it's very hard to get the yellows right because most of the palettes I own with the yellow in it, they're not as pigmented. So I really like how the pigment is but it does not look as bright on the eye from Subculture. Now let's see what the Makeup Revolution Yellow does. I am not expecting anything out of this one either because I know that it's a very cheap affordable palette. Okay so this is the Makeup Revolution. Okay I have to say that it's not patchy at all and it's going on very smoothly okay as you can see this one is a bit more brighter kind of a yellow and the subculture yellow is a bit more mustardy if you know what i mean as you can see the all-star shade in here in subculture palette could be a dupe for this shade but even in the pan this shade is not looking as pigmented so I honestly don't know if I should take that risk. So I'm going to take the shade All Star in here that my sister hasn't even touched. I just want to apply it on the corners of that 
lid shade that we just applied. And then I'm going to take the same All Star and I'm just going to go under my eyes. And I'm going to take this, no, this shade right here on a clean brush. There is some fallout that I'm trying to tap off. And we're going to go in. Okay, definitely that shade is pretty pigmented because I can literally see it. Otherwise, if you go with the light shade looking like this on top of a black, I don't think you would be able to see it. But I can literally see that. And I'm doing the same thing going on the bottom of my eye. Take the yellow shade. And my skin is feeling so freaking dry because I've been using acne products. Okay, so now I just have to test a shimmer shade out of these palettes. And I want to use this electric shade, shade from here. And I want to use it on the inner corners. So you do need a synthetic brush. And you just want to apply a lot of it until you start seeing the shade. Okay, I must say that it's beautiful. Like, I love this shade a lot. I don't have anything that looks like this, actually. Now I'm going to wipe my brush because I want to be able to give this shimmer shade a fair shot, which is this one right here. It looks a little gray in my monitor, but in person, it definitely looks like a very nice dupe or like a very similar shade to the one that's in here, which is called Electric. Okay, so I feel like the Electric from Subculture is a lot more vibrant and a lot more, um, you know, like a chromatic, whereas this one is feeling a little bit more dull and it's not really popping as good as the electric from subculture but I feel like it's still a pretty nice shade yeah for seven dollars you get these results I'm down for it honestly but the only thing that is kind of um, iffy about this is that these eyeshadows are looking a little bit more drier on my eyes whereas these ones are looking very soft and smooth and look like they just melted into my skin but I feel like once I use the fix plus that might get fixed so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use fix plus and let it dry and then I'll come back and I'll tell you if that um, texture kind of thing that I see on this eye is still there Okay, so my face is dry after the Fix Plus. I feel like that black shade out of here was not a good shade. Like, it didn't blend as well. So I feel like it's looking a little bit patchier. Whereas this one, I feel like it's looking okay. But on the corners, like this corner, it's just looking a very stiff corner. A very unblended little um, corner of my eye. Because it didn't give me um, enough time or you know like enough space to blend it i feel like it just would not blend like i just kept blending it for a minute and it's still like there didn't blend as well whereas the crease looks pretty much similar because i tried to mimic uh the same thing i had on here on this side which is looking fine now the yellow is a, lo a lot more brighter on this eye and i feel like this yellow is just kind of oxidizing or something is happening because it's kind of really dying down it's not looking as bright as this eye definitely and i just want to come a little bit closer just to show you guys that both of the palettes have their own problems so both of them are not perfect of course but they're not bad either other than that um i actually am leaning towards the makeup revolution palette a lot more for seven dollars i honestly would not ask for anything more i'm pretty happy with this the shimmer shade in here is not bad i feel like it just needs a little extra effort i feel like i would use like a mixing medium or something i want to um swatch this shimmery shade just to see if this is also as chunky so this bronze shade in here is pretty good um i actually really like it on here and it does not feel chunky or anything i feel like it's actually 
sticking to my skin it's actually melting into my skin whereas this one is not really getting picked on to my finger the same way as the other one and it's just it's just a bit more chunkier and as you can see it's very pigmented for the value it's a very good quality for the value and also the eyeshadows are feeling very soft in my fingers when I am uh, swatching them or anything even the matte ones are feeling very soft except that black shade is just like I don't like it I did swatch most of these and um, they feel very very nice like this little orange in here is freaking amazing very very soft soft like right on here little gray brown pretty nice just wanna so watch these right here yeah not bad at all yeah even the swatches are not bad at all i'm just gonna um use the same yellow shade out of this palette and apply it over here because i want the, both the eyes to match for my Instagram pictures. Alright guys, so I tried to match both of my eyes. Alright guys, so this is the whole look. And I don't know if I should wear this scarf in front of a black background. But I'll see what I do for the pictures. For right now, I just want to come on here and let you see the final look. I didn't even know that this was here. Okay, so there is three shimmer shades in this palette. And uh, this whitish one looks white in the palette but it comes on as a very nice pretty pink if you are like me you dig colors that are in this subculture palette and you're just looking for a dupe i feel like makeup revolution palette is the right one for you now i did not forget to enter the giveaway you just have to comment under this video and that's it. I will be announcing the winner on my Instagram on February 26th. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, then give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I don't have Snapchat anymore. Follow, I mean, like my page on Facebook. Subscribe over here. Hit the bell button so every time I upload a video, you get notified. Other than that, that's it, guys. Take care. Bye.